Day number three, Saratoga 2022 meet. Back in the backyard, picnic table talk. Andrew Capone for Horse Racing Nation. My partner today, Kevin Strom. Kevin, uh, day three, coming into the two-day pick six carry over here. We have a nice little pool to shoot out. I think 588,000 was the exact amount. Um, a little bit higher takeout on that, 24%. But uh, some good turf racing this afternoon, including the Diana, which should be an interesting race. What did you see so far through the first two days, how the turf was playing? So this turf, uh, Ever since we got that little bit of rain showers uh, early day one, uh, it looks to be drying out fairly well. Uh, so it looks to be you know, much more forwardly placed. You know, Joel got us yesterday on a tone. Uh, he beat a tone, you know, on the 10 with the Clamont horse, um, you know, closing. So that was, you know, that horse was loaded yesterday. Uh, but I think the turf's gonna be you know, fairly forward today. You're definitely gonna want uh, a forward, forwardly placed horse. You saw it on flow yesterday with set piece he dropped all the way to the back and tried that one run close that's not going to work today um so you know keeping that in mind let's get into the card yeah so we have that two-day pick six carry over we'll jump into that right away um this is an interesting one there, there's an opportunity i think here for a single and there's also an opportunity for an all um it could go both ways how did you look at the sequence in terms of is there a single for you uh there is a single yep so i'm actually going to be singling the, in the diana so you know we'll get to that when we when we talk about that but you know it's a great sequence you know supporting this dollar base pick six um, you don't really want to support the jackpots too much. It's not a great bet, uh, but this Naira, they seem to have the pick six figured out with the dollar base. Um, and, you know, with the dollar base, it forces people to have opinions and play their opinions. That's why we get the double carries. Um, you know, there are some prices to be had today. Like Mr. Capone said, you know, there is a race where you could probably go all, but if you go all, you got to go skinny in the other legs. So have a plan, make sure you have decent structure and play a ticket. This pool should be pretty nice today. We should be looking at, you know, 1.2 to 1.5 million hopefully maybe a little bit more than that it's a saturday opening saturday at saratoga you never know handle's been really good the last couple of days we're excited about that the pools have been big um so i hope everybody's firing at this pick six uh so if you're going to go all in in a couple of races you need to take singles elsewhere so let's talk about the diana and, and see where we can get a single so diana we spoke with on saratoga morning report you can find that each morning 9 a.m on the youtube hrn youtube channel um we spoke to um chris Connaught, who is his, his um, Charlie Appy's traveling assistant. He was very excited about their mountain here for Godolphin Racing. Um, the horse is coming over from Dubai, so a little bit interesting here. We've, we've seen those Dubai horses in the past have some issues um, on their first time here, but the horse has been here now for coming up on five weeks, has trained at Belmont, has ran over this turf course twice, and as he said on the, on the program yesterday, it is pretty hard, the turf. He thought it was pretty hard, pretty forwardly placed, so I think that horse has a, a good opportunity here. Um, but I am very excited to hear about your single. What is who is your single so in this Diana? My single in the Diana um, is going to be in Italian, right? So four chads, a euro, and Delica walk into a bar. You know, there's a joke somewhere in there, um, but I digress. Uh, so in Italian, right? The two pace horses in this race are are looked to be on paper, technical analysis, and in Italian. Uh, Chad's not going to have his two horses duel. So I think in Italian gets a fairly easy lead. Uh, Delica is a speed horse, uh, but it's just not fast enough uh, for this group here. Um, this turf is going to be rock hard, so I think it's in Italian gets to the front, stays in the front, uh, because the other Chads aren't going to, you know, do themselves into submission and wear themselves out. Um, I do want to mention something on Bleecker Street. You know, the horse is undefeated. It's seven and zero. It's a very talented horse. Uh, if you watched Irad's ride yesterday on the turf. He gave three of the exact same rides and had three of the exact same finishes. The clock in his head is off right now. So on a very short, you know, big favorite Bleecker Street in the pick six sequence, I'm going to be fading. Um, if Irad was liked out like he was towards the end of Belmont, it would be a different story. Uh, but I think he's, his clock's a little off right now. It will correct like he always does and get back to being one of the best in the game. Uh, but I think this is an opportunity to play against a big favorite in Bleecker Street. Uh, Rogier, to me, is a one-paced horse. Uh, creative flair, you know, you always have to look at the European horses who come over here for these turf races. Uh, it's not cheap to put a horse on a plane, fly him across the Atlantic Ocean, and then put him up here for four weeks. So they're clearly high on that. You know, Charlie Appleby has, I think he's 43% in graded stakes in the last year here. Uh, so, you know, he comes with a plan. Jamie Spencer comes over to ride. It's not Billy Buick, um, who has won, you know, He's a strong rider on this horse, so we'll see if Jamie Spencer, who's failed twice on it, can get it done here. Uh, but I'm going to be singling in Italian. I think uh, he gets to the front and stays in the front. And I will have a saber to creative flair because you never know what those European horses, what they have in store for you. Yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate that opinion. I'm actually going to be using both those in Italian and creative flair. Um, I'm going to be using my single in the Sanford. 
So the other stakes race we have on the card, we have a grade three uh, for two year olds going six furlongs on the dirt. Um, there's a horse in here which I'm very interested in. Again, the one we spoke with um, Brad Cox about on today's show. Um, it's this, Flandreau comes for this mount. Uh, horse won last time out at Churchill Downs in 120K maiden special. Um, horse just, just kept on, kept on going, kept on going. They came at him late, and he just had that last, you know, two, three hundred yards keep that stride. Goes from five and a half to six here, but I'm not really worried. I know he held on last time, but I still think there's going to be an opportunity here. The horse has grown. Um, horse had a, had a nice work at Churchill Downs uh, about a month ago. Came up here. Only Breeze didn't work up here, which I thought was a little interesting. Usually Brad brings a horse up here, and he wants to work them. Didn't work up here. A time to work, but did, did Breeze a couple times. So... Um, Nothing, nothing crazy, um, but I'm going to be single in most strike. I think we're going to get a little bit lower than that eight to one. Uh, I think it's going to be somewhere in the five to one, four to one area. But my my single today is going to be in race number ten in the Sanford. I'm going to be single in most strike. Um, should be right off the pace, uh, stalking close, uh, stalker area, maybe two to three length back at first call. Uh, I think the the rail here hasn't really proven itself yet. I don't think we have a bias yet. I, I don't know your opinion on the dirt. I don't know if the inside is great yet. Um, I definitely think you want to be off the rail in turf races. I think that wide swing has been working quite a bit. We've seen that over and over again. Um, we saw that yesterday once. So I think you want to be sort of in the middle of the turf course. But uh, on, the, on the dirt course, I think we have really no bias, whether it's inside or outside yet. That's probably due to lack of precipitation so far. Uh, <clears throat> That's what we have for today's Picnic Table Talk. We'll be at back here in the backyard every single day of the Saratoga 2022 meet. Um, any other comments on the card today that you like? No, for Saratoga, I hope everybody's having a good time so far with the meet. You know, it's been a little crazy with these pick sixes, but use that as an opportunity to hit it. Hit it big. Good luck, everybody.